So my name is Ashwin. So I done my graduation from Aerospace Engineering in 2018. Thereafter, I worked on research project for six months. So from then on, I am preparing for civil service. So this is my third attempt, as you said. Uh, like it is less than two weeks. So you should focus on revision. Whatever you have made, the revision part is very good. Then if you could give some mock tests, you can give some mock tests so that it can be a confidence booster. But don't take the marks to your heart. It's just happening. So, my name is Ratu. और आज मैं आपको लेकर आई हूँ यूपीएससी के ऑफिस धौलपुर में जहाँ पर यूपीएससी के इंटरव्यूज कंडक्ट किए जा रहे हैं जी हाँ दोस्तों यहाँ से सिलेक्शन होने के बाद हर एक स्टूडेंट जो सेलेक्ट होगा उसको भेजा जाएगा लबासना जहाँ से उसकी शुरुआत होगी एक आई बनने की जी हाँ उसके सफर की शुरुआत होगी जहाँ वो एक आई बनकर सामने आएगा मैं अपनी टीम के साथ जिसमें मेरे साथ मिस्टर भूपेंद्र पाल शर्मा जी हैं और मेरे साथ हैं अंकित सर हमारे साथ हैं मिस्टर अश्विन जिनका ये थर्ड अटैम्प और सेकंड इंटरव्यू था सर आपको बहुत बहुत बधाई और आई विश कि आपका जो ये अटैम्प है वो आपका फाइनल अटैम्प हो मैं चाहूँगी आप हमारे दर्शकों को अपने बारे में बताएं कि आपकी जर्नी कैसे स्टार्ट हुई और अभी आपका जो अंदर इंटरव्यू रहा उसका एक्सपीरियंस कैसा रहा आपका so overall experience from prelims wise i in the first attempt i did not clear prelims only then i worked on prelims and in the last two attempts i cleared to interview uh, so interview today is very fine like manoj soni sir was nodding all through the interview and but they grilled me somewhat in my aerospace domain like they asked me more technical questions that was one off putting apart from that everything was good the question is related to your dav especially uh, everything from dav only uh, uh, everything from dav mostly some current affairs Like regarding one Amarna Yatra that is happening, regarding that, and mostly from DAF only. And what's your uh, optional? Sir, anthro. Uh, they ask a uh, question from the optional. Yeah, yeah, they ask about anthro. What type of question they ask? Ah, uh, they ask regarding some of the tribes and what are their issues, and they ask to compare some social issues that are happening in India. Right, say for example, education from anthropological viewpoint. Then they ask about the protection for tribals that are there, and mostly they focus on particularly vulnerable tribal groups, PBTGs. Those are the things that are there. Okay, uh, sir. So, abhi jaise abhi fifth of June ko prelims hone wala hai. So, uske related aap kuch suggestions hamare jo viewers hain unko dena chahiye ki aapko kis tarah se study karni chahiye ki aapka time table hona chahiye. Like it is less than two weeks, so you should focus on revision. Whatever you have made, the revision part is very good. Then, if you could give some mock tests, you can give some mock tests so that it can be a confidence booster. But don't take the marks to your heart; it's just happening. So, uh, these two things: revision is more important, like rather than opening new books, revise more. So, what is your strategy to crack UPSC prelims, mains, and now its interview? Uh, for prelims, I made notes specific, like some of the happenings, current affairs, and then I used to read newspaper. For mains, mains is mostly on predictable range. You can predict what is getting, like you can expect. So prepare short notes for each topic, like ten to fifteen pages for each topic. That is there for interview. It's all random. You should just prepare and give some mocks. So you start, uh, you start your study with inter integrated. Ah, uh, prelims and mains integrated, like combined. You should do uh, morely focused on objective solving if prelims oriented. Uh, according to which is uh, more obstacle for the cracking UPS? Prelims if we see it has the highest failure rate, so you should more focus on prelims because. The randomness also increased. Like the last two years, the questions are more random. So you should focus on prelims more. And also, C set is one more thing. Like most of the people are getting objected even in C set also. So you should revise C set if there is an issue for you. Uh, or sir, uh, like if we talk about schedule, then what kind of schedule should a student have to keep his whole pre-plan from the day one? ताकि उसको आगे जो future में I mean mains हो interview उसमें थोड़ा easy रहे होंगे। The schedule should be depend on personal. Like each person should make their own schedule based on what is their peak study time. So mostly you should complete your GS syllabus before coming to prelims only. Then it will be advantageous in mains aspect. So because the mains is the rank decider, so you should complete your GS syllabus before only. Optional also if it if you could complete then it is a good game. But if you could not complete optional, then you should prepare after prelims also. You have enough time. Uh, if we talk about the optional, so uh, uh, what should be the approach? Uh, before choosing the option, uh, one if there is any correlation with GS, like for example, if anthropology can uh, say some social issues, so that is one thing. 
second you should see the previous year questions if the questions are repetiting then you can take up because even in your main those questions will only come so these are the two things and also third is your main interest because you should read it for same two three years if you don't have interest you could not sustain in the optional so uh, sir now you, you gave your interview so what's your expectation ki abhi iske baad kya hone wala hai aapko kaisa matlab feel kar rahe hain ki aap aage aapko prelims aapko dobara dena hai ya fir it is enough now i hope it's it should suffice like my interview this time i should get some service i am hoping i could get if not i will give again thank you so much sir uh, sir last me chahungi jo hamari uh, future aspirants hai unko kuch few tips which you could give them to wo apni aage preparation mein jo unko help kare be confident and believe in yourself these are only two things for this exam if you can believe in yourself then you can do the difference that's it thank you so thank much you. thank you